Welcome you all once again to another of my tutorials. I'm about to show you how to make your own flat cap, which I want to make for a client. This is the fabric which I'm going to use for my flat cap, and this is the pattern for it. This is for my brim. This one right here is for my brim. But I already have my brim, so there's no need for this one because I already have the brim which I'm going to use for this flat cap. So as you can see, this is the top, and this one is the side. So what we are going to do now, I'm going to go ahead to cut out our patterns on our fabric. Cut out, because this is unfold now. This is unfold, this is the back side of my fabric. This is the back side of my fabric, the back side of my fabric, which I'm going to place my top here now and cut out. So I have gone ahead to cut it out. So I'm labeling it as my wrong side of the fabric because this one is the right side. So what I will do next now is to cut for the side. So after I have cut out the top, this is the side which I'm going to cut out now. Make sure it is placed in line. it has been cut out also make sure you indicate that this is the back so what we are going to do now is to put an interfacing on these fabrics so i'll go ahead and put the interfacing and show you what to do so once you are done cutting out your gumming your, with your interfacing on your fabric like this go ahead and to cut your lining for your fabric for your top Cut your lining and both for the side also. You can see it, I have gone ahead to cut it out. This is equal with the side lining for the side. So I'll go ahead to show you how to sew them. So what we are going to do for the top now is to sew this together. I'm going to sew it like this to the end with 0.3 inch. We are going to use 0.3 inch to sew it. So I'll go ahead to shape my 0.3 inch, inch piece and then so Make sure you are not dragging it, make sure everything is thick on my sewing. Make sure no one, none of them is longer than the other. Just ship it in a bit small, just like that in the end. So this is for the top, and we go ahead to sew the side. So for the side, when it comes to the side now, you're only going to stitch here for the side. So once you are done sewing this side, you go ahead to sew it all and sew it and sew the side as well. So when sewing from your starting point and your ending point to back stitch to hold your stitch to in place. Make sure you always backstitch from your starting to the end. You get to the end of backstitch. So start with backstitch. So for the top now, what you are going to do now is to open like this and sew. I'm going to sew it like this down to the other part. Make sure you, you are spreading it for it to open. Thank you. 
Nothing is strong for me. Yeah, okay. Then go for the side and open. Do the same for the side like this. So make sure it is in place when sewing like this. Shift it so that it won't rumple at the end. Fair. You can see it is okay. Make sure you open it so that when sewing it is. Okay, so this is the side can put it in as well. And don't stitch in both the center and the side. You can see both the center and the side. So I will go, I will go ahead now to sew the lining together the same way I did for this boat. Go ahead to iron it, give it a good press so that it all lies. So I'll go ahead to iron both this part and iron this part also where I sew. So once you are done with this, so this is how it is going to be. You can see this curvy part, which is like this. This curvy part, which goes like this. This is the part you are going to place like this. Make sure it is matching this edge here, like this. Then you pin, pin down. So at this point now, you can see, at this point now, I'm going to put here like this. This is how you are going to Put it like this, spin it round. Make sure everything is in place. So just like this now we go ahead to do for this other part go ahead to pin this also don't pin in this pinning them with pinning my, my fabrics together you can see both for the line so we go ahead to sew and make sure this is in place you can see this one edge which we have here this line this center line here and this other center make sure they are matching together before you sew then use the same 0 0.3 inch which we have been using for everything 0 0.3 use the same thing for the rest so we're going to sew it down make sure you are not dragging dragging your material make sure you are not pulling it take it slowly don't rush it take it slowly you can see Slowly, 
you see this place, there's a, some broncos there, don't drag them. Make sure you put them together. Make sure they, they fall in place. Take it very slow, move very slow. At this end, don't rush it. Most of these broncos here, make sure they are in place like this. Everything is in place when sewing. This samples, make sure it is in place. Don't pull. Don't pull. It will all lock. Go ahead to take out all your pins. Take out all your pins. Okay. So you can see what you are having here. Just go ahead to do some push-ups to put some of them in place. Some that did not enter where well then. What you are going to do next is to stitch. Is to stitch this like this. Make sure you are always back stitching when sewing. So you can see how it looks. You can see the inside. Then you can see the outside, how it also looks. It's looking very neat and nice. So the same way I did for this inside, that is how I'm going to do for this lining. I'm going to sew it the same way. Sew it, these two lines, give it these two lines the same way your comma can show you. Both for the lining, you can see how it all looks. They all look. So I'll go ahead to press it with iron, give it a nice press and I'll come back. Okay, let's go over to our brain now. Go ahead to cut our brain. So to check, okay. This is the good side of the fabric. I have my shock here with me.
Okay, so what you'll do now, go ahead to sew inside this space you are seeing here. Now, we need to sew inside down to the end. So let's Now to top stitch one part of it. So do like this from the end. Then trim out. And take your brain now, put your brain in. So you can see where we top stitch. This is the under, this is the up, the surface of it. You push in. Make sure it make sure it is tight. Make sure there is no space coming out from anywhere. You can also pin if you want to pin to make it firm. You can also pin. I will go ahead to sew. Make sure you are pulling it. Make sure you pull it. fabric and make it tight. It should not be free. See how tight it is, you can see. So go ahead to trim like this. Midpoint between these two edges like this. So this is your midpoint. So let let me bring the fabric. Here. Mark your midpoint with your shock. Then this part which we joined together to so fit like this at this midpoint here.
make sure your sewing allowance which you have at this side is not more than half it should be half or even lesser and make sure you are sewing very close to your brain make sure your stitch is very close to your brain you can see my brain here make sure it is very close to your brain from this midpoint again so down to this end let's go slow and steady see so what you are going to do now is to put your hands like this you can see my hand inside make sure you are pulling this make sure you are pulling in pull it in is in place it is sitting in front confirm it mine is okay but when doing yours confirm yours you can see mine is okay sitting where it's supposed to be so it is in place so we are going to put the lining part of it so as you can see this is the front part of our lining which we have here this is our front part so all you are going to do now is to push it in you can see these rough edges push it in like this Make sure it is like this. And what we are going to do now is to sew. Make sure it, the midpoint is meeting this other midpoint. Like this. 
wrong side facing wrong side. In place that is a stitch round. So we stitch it round. Just like this. Everything will not be used. All the lines must meet each other. This is one line for the back part. So I'm going to make sure the other when I get to that place. But time to pull my elastic. This is how it will be. You can see your lines here. You give some inch from your line forward from your line, and you place it. Then you come back, give some inch from your line, then you put your machine on your elastic. When sewing it, make sure you stretch it a bit so that it won't get slack. Make sure you are pulling your elastic a bit, pull it a bit, you can see, you can see like this now, pull it a bit, pull it a bit. Take this inside, okay, see? Take this inside like this, so that it's paved, it's paved away for you to sew. Don't stretch it, like it. Don't stretch it much, just a bit, a bit stretch. stretch it. it's, the person said, it flaps very well. At this point, you can see what I'm doing now. Now make sure it laps. You can see sewing everything. Make sure it covers everything and close to the brim. So at this point, even if you don't stretch your elastic, it's okay because at this point now. You can still stretch from the other parts, so leave this part to be free so that the elastic can pass through and relax. So once you surpass this side, you go ahead to stretch your elastic. Go ahead to stretch your elastic. Go ahead to stretch. Not much stretching, please. Get a little bit of stretch. And make sure where your elastic is sitting is not more than half inch. The allowance, sewing allowance we, we are keeping for our work. That is from this part to this part where the elastic is going to pass through should be half inch. That is what I'm taking. So 
when it goes to, gets to this place it backstage it's now you can see this overlaps our line which we have here so this also is going to overlap our line make sure it overlaps that line then you cut out like this so when you cut out like that you bring it like this you see what is cause out like this you bring it like this see again you can see it overlaps you bring it like this Then you stitch. At this point now you push this in so you can see. Go ahead to put the elastic. And so so voila everything is set the stew is ready you can go ahead to boil your rice so we go ahead to put it on and show you how it looks on my head so this is it. Why you make me be 